the constitutional and statutory competences that uh, the Lady Chief Justice exhibited and uh, issues on suitability. And you will find that in every of those issues, we have made specific recommendations approving the competence of Lady Justice, Chief Justice um, Martha Kome. Mr. Speaker, she is also a known firebrand reformer, for she was amongst the lawyers involved in the clamor in the 1980s to repeal Section 2A of the Constitution of Kenya, which made the country uh, a one-party rule then. Therefore, we owe her for the multi-party democracy we are enjoying. I, I hope that uh, the issue that she spoke to of uh, operationalizing the judiciary fund is also something else I'll be looking forward to see. But more importantly, she must know that she's a trailblazer. She has set the pace and we are watching. And not only the other gender, even us who are her gender are watching because we know that she has opened doors and broken a glass ceiling to be the first chief justice of this nation. Uh, the Swahili have a saying, if I allow me to quote, Chema cha juza, kibaya cha jitembeza. And from what you can hear, uh, Honorable Speaker, is uh, the gracious lady uh, with her 33 years of experience, you know, spanning all disciplines from family law, private practice, you know, uh, pro bono acts, uh, environment, um, you know, uh, in the high court, you know, court of appeal. It's, it's, it's cross-cutting uh, that she has managed to sell herself the to the Kenyan people and to, to the committee. And hence, what we are basically doing here is repeating ourselves in uh, just increasing the accolades. O order. <laughs> now, honorable members, having confirmed that we have the requisite numbers, I proceed to put the question, which is uh, taking into consideration the finding of the Departmental Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs in, in its report on consideration of a nominee for appointment as Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, laid on the table of the House on Wednesday, May 19, 2021, and pursuant to provisions of Article 166.1a of the Constitution and Section 3 and 8 of the Public Appointments Parliamentary Approvals Act 2011, this House approves the appointment of Honorable Lady Justice Mother Karambu Koome as Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Aye. And as of a contrary opinion say nay, the ayes have it.